you could take the Bitcoin and Ethereum pill and see how far the rabbit hole goes. Or you can stay with their dollars and go back to sleep. Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's their next move? Let's find out in the charts, shall we? Bitcoin has uh, decided to come back into this uh, rising wedge, which now I really think is no longer a rising wedge. I think we now have a new pattern and we have to wait to see how it plays out because I don't think it yeah, right here. We're going to draw this here and here and we're going to talk about that in today's episode and more. Uh, we're going to also talk about um, Michael Saylor has convinced me that my $1.2 million call might be a little bit low. <laughs> and uh, wow, I mean, uh, I, had, I, have to, I have to pound the table again. We're pounding the table. Bitcoin, you have to buy it. You, you, I mean, there's no financial advice, of course, but Jesus, wow. We, we, are, we are in a new paradigm. And I'm gonna explain that. I know, I know. Whenever you see that, it's time to sell. I know that, but we're going to talk, explain why uh, Michael Saylor points out how it's, how this time is truly different, and I'm looking forward to that. My name is Da Vinci Jeremy. I'm here joined with Inti Campos. Good morning, people. How are you today? I'm sure they're all doing fine. They're all in the pipe, five by five. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. So yeah, it's it's going to be a good good one, man. Going to talk. Also going to talk about my trade that I did yesterday. How I got stopped out. Want I want to talk about how to manage your emotions whenever your trade uh, doesn't work for you, and how, especially if you're new to trading, how to like you know just take a step back, like uh, ask yourself some questions, and then go move move forward, right? Always move forward because the market's always going to be here. And you need to learn to do that. I want to also talk about Ethereum, right? How uh, the e EP, what the EP, EIP 1559 is going to do, right? And they're going to be talking about that soon. And we're also going to uh, be talking about uh, all, all the, I'm going to give thanks to all the people who've been watching my videos and appreciating, sending me messages, appreciating it. I've been getting those messages. I haven't been talking about him on the show, and I think it's time for me to do so. All right, so with that said, Inti's got a few words to say, right? But remember, remember, if you're not watching this live, right, you're missing out. You missed out on the post event, right? Because we had, there's a whole show at beforehand, and there's a show afterwards. Inti answers all the, gets all your questions, right? All the people who are watching live, right? Um, they're leaving questions, right? And I answer them at the end of the show. And you're missing all of that and you don't want to miss that so we're going to show you how to get into that if you're if you're interested all right Inti, let's take it away yes sir as always people is worth to remind you that even with the with the table pounding this video is for entertainment purposes only and this is not financial advice please do your own research before putting any of your heart and money on the market and take it away awesome. da vinci let's have some fun awesome. all right let's do that let's do this okay so uh, I'm gonna go through my emails, right? Because I get uh, emails from David, right? He's my uh, my social media guy. He's going through my social media, picking out comments, right? Letting me know if there's anything important that needs to be uh, that I need to look at and so forth. And lately, right, he's been pointing out a lot of great comments, right, that from you guys, right? Uh, right, he's just uh, it's just awesome. Thank you all for your awesome comments, right? I appreciate it all. There's a lot of them to go through here, but we can we could talk about a few of them, right? Um, for example, you deserve it. It makes us uh, positive, happy when you see you uh, smile, right? I'm talking about my PS5, basically. Uh, where, to, where Chris got me a PS5, right, to cheer me up, right, because I can't get a PS5 here in Chile, so he managed to set and get me one. So yeah, that was great of him, and yeah, uh, lots of comments from my my my. Um, my instagram so uh, yeah there's a lot of more comments here right appreciate all your comments like for example a uh, beautiful home even nicer than the the suit the, the suites in the villas of uh, tulum yeah exactly it was a downgrade to the <laughs> yeah. yeah so you can check that out um if you haven't uh, subscribed to my uh instagram i have a lot of cool stories make sure that you do so 
and you can head over to my Instagram and check out my stories and uh, all my videos and everything that's cool that's been happening as uh, 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 in Tulum and whatever else I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to doing some more Instagram posts. And I want to get this up to 10,000. So, so help me out. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Okay. With that said, let's get, o get on with the, the TA for today. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, Bitcoin, right, you know, it dropped down, right, that that uh, ri uh, rising, uh, that, that what's it called, the head and shoulders pattern didn't work out, or maybe it did, maybe it's still working out, because remember, remember, normally, normally, when I do trade a W's or, or the head and shoulders pattern, how do I trade it, right? I went, I did take a lot of risk, and I knew that that, 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 was, that was a risky thing, because normally, how do I trade that? Right, I went with a high risk and a high reward, but normally I trade it like whoops, not short. Let me just go along. Normally on the breakout, I trade it on the breakout and I go okay, so right here, I take this all the way to a one to one ratio, right? So I make sure this is a one to one ratio first, right. And then I take the move the stop loss so that it turns into a two to one. So that's how I normally trade this setup here. And so, yeah, I got a, a little bit greedy, right? But I was willing to accept the consequences of my actions and luck. If we were in the proper trade, we'd still be there holding, waiting for us to, to see if this thing's going to break down. And we're going to see. We're going to see either way whether that uh, that's going to work out or not. And uh, and you have to accept, no matter what happens, right? You have to accept your trade, right? And for new guys, right, uh, everybody tries to be right 100% of the time. Don't be. That's the wrong way to trade. If you try to be right 100% of the time, you will get wrecked. You'll get destroyed because you're gonna you're gonna a revenge trade. You're gonna come back into the market, trying to look for a new trade to, to get back the money. Forget about it. Now now the next trade is a new trade. Forget about what happened in the past. Focus on what's gonna happen going forward. Right uh, and also learn from but learn from the past. So for example, hey, you know what? Uh, I got a little bit uh, greedy there, so maybe I should. Uh, stick with uh, something that uh, that will not get me into any trouble. So there you go. All right. Uh, with that said, um, um, we're right now uh, looking to see if Bitcoin is going to break this this trend line here, and I think maybe it has, right? Uh, because as you can see, um, we have this four-hour candle has broken out. Because look, we can if we move this out any further. Right, we won't have any touch points. So, um, I think this is um, this is right now uh, the make it or break it time. We can go down to the hourly to see to see it a little bit more clearer. Right, um, right, and then we can move this so that we have actual touch points. And you can see that this is not looking so good for Bitcoin. We might be uh, breaking down on Bitcoin, as you can see. Right. We didn't actually like we stayed we stayed above below below and then came back up and then you can see this is not a good trend line at all that we've uh, actually broken it now we could say that uh, we're creating and probably could be creating a new set of tra trends but I don't see that possible maybe it might be um, if you count connect these two and ignore the last one but uh, things are not looking good basically at the bottom the, the short long and short of it so we might be looking for um, Bitcoin to fall over here um, to roll over here so what we can do right um, because things are not looking good we can go down to the lower time frames and try to find any kind of M pattern to, to take us uh, lower right because things are possibly gonna uh, fall lower but things could also this thing could reverse on us so you just don't know so what we could do is we we could reduce our our possibility of risks by going and looking at the lower time frames for some M from M's to join join some uh, join into a short 
uh, in in the uh, in the next little while. Right now, there is no um, there is no short clear short right now. Um, it's it's just chopping around, so we have to let uh, let it let it uh, let the market give us uh, a signal when to to take a trade. All right, let's head over to Ethereum, and we can see that we're in a long trade here on Ethereum, and it's still it's not looking so so good for us here as well. As you can see, we're probably um, broken any kind of trend. Well, not so, not quite. Looks and looks looking a little bit better here. Right, let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, looking much better than on uh, Bitcoin. Um, if we go down to the four hour, right? Um, I think I mean to the hourly. Yes, we can see that we're still trying to get back above the uh, trend. Maybe we can pull this line a little bit further down. Right to say that hey, you know what? It's is battling the trend line and it wants to stay above it so should it stay above it we can see us um, uh, 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 see uh, ethereum continue higher we can see that there's a little bit of a w right if we forget this wick down here that might turn this thing into a positive trade once we uh, break uh, the the, the uh, 15,090 but we have to wait and see Yes, there's clear. There's a clear downtrend at, at currently, and it has to break that um, before we can say for sure that um, that uh, Ethereum is going higher. So we're just waiting on Ethereum, uh, but overall, you know, Ethereum is going a lot higher. Doesn't matter how how low this thing goes. Um, uh, well, I've, I mean, like I'm sure. If we go below thousand, one thousand, that that would be not so good. But somewhere around there would be not not so good because we might be in a long term bear market. But I really think that Ethereum, no matter what it does, in generally here above the thousand, that uh, we're we're headed to uh, incredible heights in the long run. So this is just a short term, and uh, we'll just wait and see. Heading over to the dominance, right? We're still chopping around, right? Still deciding. Do we really want to break down? Well, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, my trade, I'm getting lots of trades. I recently got um, um, uh, a, a trade on, uh, here, let me just bring it up, right? Um, hang on, on Twitter, let me just bring it up. On, on a new Twitter, pa on a new page, because I want to keep that page there. Talk about that in a second. Uh, I, I just uh, tweeted this out because I got paid here. Nice little payday on eng coin right we know that uh, and i got another payday on another coin which i haven't mentioned i did tweet it out because it, it just just it'd just be too much for my tweets and my these tweets don't don't get a lot of likes so uh, I, i'm not going to do that too many of them but yeah this i got paid here today and uh, i'm continuing getting paid on my little landing strategy so uh, make sure you check out the little lady strategy right it's free right it's easy way to make money on on uh on uh on altcoins right and it, it's uh, it's a it's a method that you can easily do and it's not a whole lot of work at first it may seem like that but you, you just log in right with your 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 information for your google information and then um you can um you could have those videos. Those once you learn the the basics, you can you can be off and running and uh, making a lot of money. And a lot of us in the in the chat room, um, in in Da Vinci in in my uh, Pandora's wallet group, is is making a killing, right? So we're all you, you. There's a lot of people talking about. Oh my God, I got a double, a new double, a new bulb, double all the time, and this is just great. I want I want to see more doubles here. People are commenting about their doubles. So if you're in this group, please uh, comment your doubles and, and tag me because I want to see them now. Alrighty. Um, all right. So remember, if you're interested in trading, right, you can do so by heading over to buybit.davinciej15.com or, or femex.davinciej15.com. 
right? And uh, by by doing so, right, you help the channel. You also you help yourself if you own the DJ15 tokens, right? Because I take the revenue, buy up the tokens, and to burn them um, uh, for you. So that increases the value of the token and so forth. Also, also at the end because I plan to close out uh, DJ15 token, I'm going to buy up all the tokens from you at a fixed price. And I think everybody will be happy at the end of the, uh, when that when when I buy back all your tokens. So looking forward to that. Alrighty. Um, let's talk about the first news uh, item of today. Oh man, the EIP1559, it cannot come anytime sooner, right? They're just going to be talking about it. They're going to be meeting in London, right? Uh, right. Um, uh, oh, no. They're talking about the, the fork. They're not meeting in London. Sorry. They're talking about the fork, right? Called the London fork, right? Um, and they're going to be discussing it, right, on Friday. So, uh, looking forward to, to, to hopeful, uh, seeing that uh, being implemented even in the, uh, in the test net. That would be great, right? Um, that would be a, a, one step closer to uh, actually uh, having it uh, implemented because a lot of uh, you, you, we've, we're all seeing the fees um, on Ethereum. It's gotten absolutely ridiculous, and it will continue to do so because uh, wealthy people are in this space that are dropping uh, ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars, and a fifty dollar fee is nothing for them. All right. Um, Heading over to uh, also Amazon announcing right the, the availability of Ethereum on Amazon managed blockchain. So basically, what they're doing is you could now um, run up, spin up an a, a, a Ethereum node on Amazon, and use that for your uh, for your uh, accessing uh, your either your app for your app to access it if you're if you're um, if you've got a decentralized app with a, uh, a centralized web application, right, you can access it through that. Um, you can also use it, for example, for example, uh, my company can use it um, if they, if I choose to um, give them the go ahead, because we currently run our own nodes, right, and manage our own nodes and upgrade our own nodes, but they would provide um, elasticistic uh, storage, meaning that. Uh, I don't have to worry about storage. I wouldn't have to worry about um, uh, communication, secure communications, because they'll provide all of that for me. And also, they would also upgrade the node as well for me. So the node is completely managed for me. I know that it will always be there, it'll always work, and I'll always um, have um, access to it. So that's the advantage of using uh, AWS uh, Ethereum on Amazon and their their blockchain. So this is. This is not. Uh, this is also positive, right, for for uh, Ethereum because now there's going to be more nodes that you could connect to as well. So uh, strong, that will strengthen the network even more. All right. Um, I, you know, I I I, I really think that uh, people who call Bitcoin a bubble are missing out on some criti critical pieces of information. Yes, it's volatile, but it's volatile in an upward direction. And yet you're, you're uh, accepting, people would rather accept negative interest rate bonds, right? Because, hey, you know what? That, 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 that crazy Bitcoin is a bubble, right? Uh, I don't understand why, you know, a limited resource, right? Limited 21 million, right, is going up in price, right? When I can have unlimited dollars <laughs> and receive a negative rate for it. And, and, and I can give those unlimited dollars to the, the government and get back less. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous, right? Uh, and so you can see, right, if somebody has a few brain cells, I don't know, they don't need a whole lot, just a few. <laughs> that maybe losing money is not a good idea and making money is better and making sure that you have more not less is better i don't know how many brain cells you need for that <laughs> but i don't think you need many <laughs> so, 
So we're gonna see people moving away from these 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 bonds. Even if you're getting a small interest rate on bonds, you're still getting a negative real rate as uh, inflation is well above two percent. And so it's time to stop doing that. It's time to stop people. All right. Well, I want to get on to um, the the shocking information that uh, Michael he had a lot of shocking nuggets. Talked about some of them in uh, the video I did with Chris yesterday. Make sure you check it out. Link will be in the description below. Uh, yeah, it it was this was a shocking video. I, I swear to God. I mean, it um, the the face of I have to show you the face. How I got into this video. How I got to this video was because of uh, this tweet right here. Let me just scroll down to the tweet. Right, this guy. Right, his his face said it all. Right when he said that. Everything else is relevant. Sell everything. Buy Bitcoin. Sell your stocks. Sell your bonds. Buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that face. It's like, oh my God, I just saw, I just saw the light of God. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of realization. Exactly. And so a lot of people are going to be going through that, right? And you're going to be going through that at different times, of course. And Michael Saylor, one one of the things that he said pointed out, right, is that everything like you, you you see Plan B's model, and you think, well, that's great because you know you're looking at your modeling based on what happened in the past, right? But you're forgetting what has happened that changes everything. So, for example, he points out that if you try to model human behavior, model war, for example, and you have uh, m human beings using a bow and arrow and you model war, you're going to have a sp consistent model of what's going to happen, right? Based on the number of people and all that kind of stuff. So stuff. But as soon as you place a gun in that person, somebody, a human's hand, your models go out the window, right? So he points out that uh, Plan B's model is completely out the window because now... Uh, the Federal Reserve promised to uh, print money in an unlimited fashion as of March of December, March, uh, uh, March, uh, sorry, March, 2020, and that completely changed everything. Also, he also pointed out another key thing, which shocked me, and uh, and I was like, uh, yeah, I didn't realize that. I, I just realized that my my 1.2 million dollar, um, uh, what's it called, um, call was uh, a little low because he points out how many how many banks he asks the question how many banks right can you count on your hand can you count five banks or no he says can you name five banks that will loan you money against your tesla stock and he says yeah you could name them all right from jp morgan and uh, what's it called bank of america right you can name all bank of new york mellon they'll all give you um loans on on uh, on your uh, what's it called on your uh, tesla stock then he goes on to say and how name how five banks that will give you money loan on uh, on your bitcoins you can barely you can you can you can find them right they do exist but there, there's very few but that's not going to last very long as corporations put this on their balance sheet and they want to they don't want to hold they don't want to sell it they want to borrow against it and so the banks are going to provide that kind of kind of uh utility and that that changes everything that changes the dynamic because now you're going to find that um, people are going to buy borrow 150 percent against their their uh their bitcoins which to buy more bitcoins and leverage up even more and you're going to find that as people sell their houses sell their assets to leverage up on their bitcoins and instead of leveraging on the house they just buy the bitcoins they watch the bitcoins grow and uh, they continue to leverage against that. And it was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He was right. The, all our models are completely out the door. And now we're going to see something completely different coming this cycle. And I was like, wow. Wow. I, 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 now I don't know what to expect for this cycle. I think we're going to have to expect the unexpected. All right, with that said, um, we're going to be going on to uh, the question and answers period, right? Um, 
if you uh, if you if you are interested in trading, right? Remember the um, the uh, what's it called? My video on how to do so on a little quick start guide on uh, on uh, Bybit is going to be popping up at the end here. So make sure you check that out. And remember, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay. You need to be a part of it. Cheers, people. Bye.